Yeah, buddy. 57 degrees. I think it's like May 4th or 5th, somewhere in there. I don't know. <laughs> I get a vacation about this time every year from, oh, about late March to July. And uh, it's perfect to, uh, yeah, go have fun, catching crappies, catching, you know, whatever I want on the lake. So, target. That's what's helped me uh, win a lot of tournaments on this lake is because I kind of know what the fish are doing uh, year round now. So it's kind of helpful, really helpful. One thing I kind of did want to show you guys too, though, is, is with this process. So the, the wind's blowing straight out of the west, west right now. Um, the crappies are real tight to the bank so with this process I'll go ahead and set up and it's, it's only like six seven right here so with this process I'll go ahead and set up and I'll start I'll use my jog feature with Minn Kota and I'll just see I'll just push the arrow over and the trolling motor will actually move me over five foot in five foot increments to the depth I want to be at to where I can get right where those crappies are hanging out and just start hammering them. Slow again today. Okay. Slow again today so yeah. far. Yep. Yep. I just caught two back to back. This small one and a probably about a 15 inch. Oh, this right. right here, but it's like yeah. no reason. <laughs> right. You know. Okay, so what we're using today are, this is a Uncle Buck's crappie combo. I think I end up, uh, I think uh, it's made by B&M, Duck Commander. I 
I'm using a dropper rig, and these are 10 foot long. I'm, I've got 12 foot orders, or 12 foot rods coming. So uh, these are 10 foot rods. What I've got is a, I've got a dropper. My sinker's on the bottom. Followed up about eight inches. I've got a little loop coming out with a small uh, gold hook, and then about oh 10 inches up to that, I got another loop with a small hook coming out. So. That's going to be basically our setup, all three poles. Um, like I said, we're using very large minnows because we don't want them small crappies. We want them big, huge crappies. So, uh, yep, all right. So, other than that, stay tuned. We'll put some fish in the boat. So I'm going to show you basically how I hook my minnows up. Sometimes I hook them through the head, but today we're not going to be trolling. We're going to be just basically just uh, moving around just a little bit. Here's how I do it. I just take the hook and run it through the back of the tail, just like that. So it hangs like that and he'll sit there and squirm like crazy. So this is the other type of crappie fishing. It's specified as spider rigging. Um, I've actually ordered some T-bars coming up, a little small one. I've actually ordered, um, well I already got them, I didn't order them. But I got uh, some 3 8 uh, Driftmaster rod holders. <clears throat> and then the T bars I got from are actually from uh, Jesse Simmons with Elite Rod Holders, to where I can adjust them and I can move my rods, you know, up, up or down. That way I can bring the rod tip closer to the bottom or, or bring it up. I can move it however I want to. Um, that's kind of what I want the option to go up or down, you know, move the rod closer to the bottom. As you can see here, these are, you know, quite a few feet off the bottom. And a lot of times it's tougher to uh, judge how deep it is by by that. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just pick up the, the slack line. And I know that, that rod's about four to six feet down. So, but yeah, this is another option to do. Um, it's, again, it's called spider rigging, and uh, yeah, you ain't got to worry about small crappie. You can just catch the big ones, like this one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a double one. I'm going to go ahead and reel this one up real tight. I can mess with the one I got here. See, same with crappie. Y'all do it with catfish. You can do the same thing with crappie where you put the rod in the rod holder and, and uh, <laughs> and go back to fishing. I mean, it's just crazy. As long as, there's, as long as that line's tight, you won't have to worry about the, uh, yeah. Put him on the floor, man. We're going to net this other one. That was a legitimate double right there. Thanks for a good day. Woo! So, we got our one man limit. 25 crappies. Not only that, but they're 25 <coughs> huge crappies. I mean, just, I, I think I caught probably 30 fish. But the smaller ones, you know, once you once you know what's in Red Rock, you don't mess with the small ones. And I mean small ones, I mean 10 inches or under. You throw them back. So um, today's, I think I got three 14 to 15 inches. Um, one definitely is 15. Um, the rest are that 12 to 14 inch. Just 
just slops. Once I mean, that's yeah, it's crazy. So, <laughs> other than that, had a good day. Uh, talked to a lot of nicer guys. Um, dealt with some googans a little bit. You know, it is what it is. They're just trying to catch fish too. But one word of advice: if you're coming in to fish a new area and you see guys trolling that area along that bank don't dump in ahead of them and start trolling ahead of them i know it's it's tough especially when you can see that person catch like three or four crappies right in front of you within five minutes but if you can urge not to cut them off then don't cut them off other than that if if you're going to keep doing it then oh well it it really doesn't matter because i'm going to catch fish around you so <laughs> Oh wait, I got I gotta stop being so arrogant because there's an arrogant side of me coming out. But uh, it, uh, yeah, today was a good day. So, other than that, we're gonna go clean some crappies. And uh, yeah. 63 because the cold snap came through. Sunday we found 68. Yeah, they would have been on fire there. I'd turn our down in there for a while. Thank <laughs> you.